Hi, I'm Ian Wright, and the countdown continues. This is Big Brother's Big Mouth. to the show. Joining me tonight in the studio, I have TV presenter and all-round nice guy, Ben Shepherd. Yeah! Ben Shepherd is a nice guy. Broadcast and all-round nice girl, the lovely Vanessa Phelps. Yeah! And don't forget, this lot have been out of their cage for one night only, then. It's yeah! the studio audience. They're very noisy. They're very noisy tonight. But first, after being upset by his lack of airtime in the Big Brother movie, John T makes up for it by shamelessly trying to sneak into other people's shots. We don't want to have to physically remove him from this house. That's shameless. And Ziggy accidentally discovers Carol's new hiding place for the biscuits. <laughs> know who you want to win, so get in touch with us by phoning us, texting us, or emailing us your eyepieces and messages via the website. OK, he's been around for a while, but he still feels like a spanking new housemate. You notice a little kind of change there anyway. Well, you know who I'm talking about. It is, of course, John E. Let's have a look at him. In a house far away. Always quiet until. Hello, my name's John T. I think I'm going to be back at my flat within a week. <laughs> <laughs> Give each other spankings rather than sex. I'm not into sex at all. Spanking? Yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. That wasn't so bad. Hello. Yeah. This is Kiki. Can you? Bunny form. Oh, hello. Oh. Nib. Nib. Oh, oh. I want to be in with you, man, but I just can't be. Really childish and irritating. <laughs> <laughs> just in no, no. But it's becoming very boring very quickly. Oh, hello. Would you like to listen to me slap my hot chocolate through this? <laughs> Don't you, maybe they want some time to lose. Got to have a private conversation with them, don't they? You're right. Just being, being a bit upset living with a lot of people who don't really accept you as being one of them. John T, bugger off, will ya? I've never met anyone so eccentric. <laughs> Dude, would either of you care to give me some discipline? Hey! He's possibly one of the funniest <laughs> blokes that I've met in a long time. I'm the last of a dying breed. Okay, we've called this discussion the John Tease Me, Tease Me, Tease Me. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. So, Vanessa, I'm going to come to you first. Latecomers tend to be a little bit unpopular yeah. um, with, with, the, with the show and that. But on the inside, um, like outsiders who come to the house, I should say, is John an exception to the rule? I'm sorry, but John is an exception to all normal rules. I mean, I'm too young. I love John T. I'm too young to have to look at that lunchbox. There's nothing in it for a start. <laughs> Lunchbox, as you've been looking at, but that looked pretty full to me. That, that one is very small. Oh, sorry, was you, that haven't that box? Mate. No. you haven't lived. Clearly, I the haven't. The problem with that, John T, is the first time he talked about eating his verrucas, he oh. lost me. Oh. Remember that? He We've is all a man of Come on, that's not ideal. Revolting proclivities, oh. disgusting habits. And as for those stuffed toys, oh. I know where I'd like to stuff them. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> I think Vanessa's got it all wrong. I think John T, like he said, he's he, he's one of those one. He's a lover of life. He's no, one of those brilliantly no. English gentlemen. He's a little bit eccentric. He, he loves his teddy bears, and why not? He's happy to show everybody his bits and pieces. He loves it. That's something that should be celebrated. Is right? there John T lovers here? Yeah. yeah. Are you a John T lover? I'm a defo John T lover. Why? Just because he's. You like getting naked too, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> only at the weekend, Ben, only at the weekend. Because oh he's such an eccentric and he's completely what the show's about. That's why he's lasted much longer than why, all the other he, halfway. Why has he lasted longer than all, all the other like, Just halfway? Just because he's thing. keeping it real. He's gone in there, he doesn't have a game plan. All right, he's annoying, he's got his teddy bears, he gets naked and does his thing in front of the hairdryers and whatever. Yeah. But like, <laughs> that's what we love to watch. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. And I reckon if he'd have been there from the start, he might have a chance of winning. This is what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe if Johnny was in there, because when he came in with the teddy bears, you're thinking, what is going on with this fella? And then 
he's real because he's carrying on doing it. What do you think? Am I lying or what? No, that is naturally the man. Yeah. He is he is not naive, but he is innocent. You've got he's got to his age, okay, and he's genuinely himself and he's absolutely gorgeous. You think so? You can confuse him with Michael Jackson. Hey, hey, you ever wanna like Michael Jackson? He's innocent, is that all right? Do you know what I mean? So I've only seen someone else from John. Who's, is it Johnny Man? Yep. Talk to me about Johnny. What are you thinking? Now I'm a big fan of Johnny, but since he exposed himself, the number of the number of gay men in this country has plummeted. No way! I thought it wasn't that bad. Was it that bad? Was Johnny's body? Was Johnny's body that bad? It was, to be honest, it was bad, wasn't it? Listen, right. If if. Uh, farting was an Olympic sport, we'd yeah. have a gold medal in the bag and Carol would win the women's event. No question. Simple as that. I thought Tonti had been out collecting acorns when he was naked. You think so? He was the acorn man. It is quite chilly in there, you know what I mean? Because, like, Z like, Ziggy got some stick for, for, for be it being cold in there. What about you, Carl? What about, what about it, then, Lazy? What about John T? I think he's very nice. He just wants I think to be he's accepted, doesn't he? Yeah, and he's, he's just a very, very strange, eccentric man, and that's just who he is. Absolutely. He's, like he's got nothing. He's got nothing to hide, bless him. He's, <laughs> he's got nothing to hide. That's, that's so you are, he, he is innocent, but how innocent can a man be whose chap line is, girls, do you want to discipline me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Say it again. I mean, bless his darling heart, he's a virgin. You'd and if he, if Big Brother could change that, and that will change his. Big marriage. Brother ain't gonna have sex with Johnny. Oh. <laughs> How's Big Brother gonna change that? What are you saying, sis? I think he's calmed down. You think he's calmed down a bit? Monkey Tunkety has been taken away. Monkey Tunkety, yeah. A bit. Why have they taken you know? Monkey Tunkety? What, what's all that about? Just so you can see the real Johnny. He was They've taken the characters that he was playing around with, hiding behind, yeah. so you can see the real Johnny. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Who, has anyone got teddies here? No. no. Have you got a teddy? Let me come up and see because you know what? I've got a teddy. I'm not ashamed. I've built a teddy. I've got. A, I've got a teddy. He's called Edgar. He's got Edgar. I put a heart in him. I put the voice in him and everything. Yeah. You know. Am I weird? I don't feel weird. <laughs> what about it? What do you think about the teddy bear stuff? I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased. Like, you made a great point, my man. Near you, teddy lover. He made a great point. What do you think? Do you think uh, John T would have would have been had a better chance to win it had he been there earlier? Yeah. 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 What do you think? Yeah, we were talking. What do you, what do you think, we, we, we were talking before the show. Who's going to win it? We were, we were gonna... talking before the show, and Vanessa said to me, when the, when we when one the, sec, one sec, when the, Vanessa said, said when the show started, you really didn't like the twins. I haven't gone through the whole series. Yeah, I've learned to love lovely. them. Of course. I think if John T had been given more time, you would have got over this problem with you yeah. think he's creepy stuff, and you would have gone. Actually, do you know what? He is just being himself. He is just a character. He's just an eccentric. And actually, there's okay, something a lot more real goes. about him than many other housemates. I think if he'd been in there from the start, we might take him a bit more seriously. But he is still a right weirdo. He's a, he's an absolutely. I don't know. I think that's really harsh, Vanessa. I think he's just and, you know, he's just lovely, isn't he? He's, I think he's, that's how he is. He's the love of a good no drama. He doesn't bring no arguments. He's just down to earth. He's what is wrong with Everybody, the guy doesn't bring no problems. He doesn't. He, he he just does. You know, we've got a, we've got a phone. We've got a phoner. Okay, we've got a phone. We've got a phone on the line, and it is John T's mate Mark. How you doing, Mark? Can you hear us? Mark. Mark? Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? How are you? We're, we're very well. We're very well. I just wanted to ask you, John T's quite an eccentric fella. Um, is, is he, does he do that much farting on the outside world as he's doing it in, inside Absolutely. the house? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna love it. He does. Yeah. Huh? It's just I, I don't know. I just think with fighting when you're doing it, it's just that, that kind of thing. It's quite ooh. It's, not it's weird. Well, no, no, really. What it is, it's, it's, it's evidence for his Teddy's man. court case. <laughs> what did he say? It's the, it's the, well, really, it's the evidence for his Teddy's court case or mine. I can't quite remember. It's, we're going back a long time now. <laughs> uh, we're going back <laughs> five, 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 five years. <laughs> I don't think you're healthy. Mark do, you, do, Mark, do you think, do you think at this stage, Mark, do you think he can win it? I think he will, yeah. Does it? You think? You think? Oh, you think oh, 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 thanks, oh, thanks a lot, Mark. Do you, do, do, who in here thinks that John T can win it? Can you, oh, let me go and ask my man over here, because I want to know from Miss, my man here. Can I sit next to you, sweetie pie? Can, um, can, he, can, he, can he win it? You said no? No, I don't think he Why can. Why not? Because he's too much of an eccentric. We've got to like identify with a guy, and we just can't. I can't identify. I don't Could have anything in common with him. 
I can't get yes. close to him. I, could. I can't. I can't relate to him. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of guys in here who can't can't, can't relate to him. There's not many virgin guys in here. You can't relate. You, how are you going to relate to him? You know, just because he's got a teddy bear and he's a little bit eccentric, he farts on the floor. What's wrong with that? I, I think he's a nice guy. As now. Ben said, could you identify with Nadia? No, you couldn't. But. Oh, OK, well, what it is now, there is a lot of um, closet Big Brother watchers out there, and I can't name them, but um, Jimmy Hill has described this next segment as the tits. It's the eyepiece. Check it out. ABBM, this series is so good for when I think the twins must win. They are just absolutely amazing in Liverpool. And how cool would it be to have two winners for once? It's like a first time. But first. I like Carol. I am Carol. Carol to win. Yay! I've made a little poem. If Brian wins, we have sinned. If Carol wins, we have sinned. If John T wins, who cares? And if the twins win, we can the three good times. Come on! I want Brian to win. <laughs> <laughs> OK, remember, it's time to lay your cards on the table and let us know which housemate you're backing. So send your messages to the mouthpiece and your videos to the eyepiece via or directly from your mobile, texting them to 07730 Text cost your standard network MMS rate. Time for a break. The kitchen's too hot for me. I'll see you on the other side. Take it easy. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Big Mouth. Still with me, our television presenter in half decent footballer, Ben Shepherd. <laughs> Present, presenting goddess Vanessa Phelps, and of course, the studio audience is still here. OK, time for more Big Brother highlights from the previous Big Mouth hosts. My favourite housemate has been Brian. He's definitely been the most entertaining. It would have to be Carol. She's emerged as a, as a leader, as an organiser, as a mother figure. I think people need to get them done quickly and get out of the way. She's definitely got a big political future with us. Uh, my favourite um, Big Brother contestant must be um, Chanel. How about you, Ruben? I believe everything that you say. He likes Chanel too. And we liked her because we thought she was bang tidy. Really? She was bang tidy. Who? Chanel. Ah, he's not me. No, then, Chanel. Don't worry. Well, we all know the boobies' favourite housemate. Away the lads, the Newcastle United supporter, the Geordie lad, is going to be Liam. Seems very uncomplicated, genuine sort of person, Liam. My favourite Big Brother moment would have to be some of the rows involving Charlie. Don't shut up! You toss off. You, you toss off. Her extraordinarily ferocious ability to argue about anything and everything, and not to even draw breath when she was in full flow, uh, was <laughs> magnificent to behold. I think probably Brian, when he was told that I was a faker and ran around the house like some kind of special agent. And he asked me, goes. <laughs> Which was quite funny. Favourite Big Brother moment? My favourite is um, Whitney Houston. She wasn't in the house. But I love the moment when Carol told Laura what she thought of her. It's the housemate who sleeps the most and spends the most time lounging around the house. Oh. I didn't watch most. I only watched it when I was up. Well, and I was doing it. These guys speak very, very fast. OK, he's already cake over. Can he double his money by winning the whole lot? Let's check out Liam. Going into the Big Brother house, yeah? <laughs> Never fear, <laughs> mystical Liam is here. The guy's just awesome. Can we you? Don't worry. He's just really down to earth. Do you think he does fancy me? Yeah. Good. We decided. Yeah. Yep. You've decided. We decided. Yeah, the chosen Liam. I didn't want you to get the impression that <laughs> my family needs money because I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> um, hot pants. Stop making the eyes at me, I'm stop making the eyes at you. I kind of want to go and lie down with you and chat with my wings of steel. Frozen over your explosion. 
might be a flipping idea just to go and cool for a couple of days, like. Don't worry about it. Are you jealous of Brian's relationship with Amanda? No. He's my brother from another mother. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My time's been made a lot easier in here by the people that are in here. That was brilliant, that Very good. Hey. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> OK, we've called this discussion Lumber Jack the Lad. So I'm going to go over to Vanessa. I'm going to ask Vanessa, do you think that Liam has been one of the most um, likeable housemates? Yes, I do. Yeah. I think he's been yeah. straight down the line. Do you love line. him, Vanessa? I love the guy. Everybody knows my heart really belongs to Ziggy, and I'm not going to be unfaithful this late in the show. Now, I'm sorry. Ziggy won my heart at the very beginning, and I remain an abject Ziggy groupie forever. But Liam has conducted himself magnificently well, with a bit of a, a, bit of a straying there when he, when he did whatever he Is did. Is he the boy Amy. next door, Vanessa? I, I beg your pardon? Is he the boy next door? Yeah! He's he is, isn't he? He's got door. that vibe about him. He's, he's the tree surgeon next door. He's a, he's a darling, isn't he? Is he the Pepsi guy? Is he the Pepsi he's guy a, in the lift? He's the Diet Coke guy. He's the guy that you wouldn't mind to take, oh, take him to bed on a cold night. That, 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 that just makes him a bit boring. What do you think? What do you think I, of Liam? I, I think, he, yeah, he is all of those things. He's a lovely bloke. He's yeah. born next door. But actually, uh, as a viewer, uh, for me, on the TV show, like Big Brother, he's just been a little bit tedious towards the end. He got his money. What's he doing? Go on, off you go, son. Let's get someone who wants it. He's more. 100 grand. Do you think he, should, he can double it? Do you think he can well, do it? There's no reason why he can't. Oh, I, would I, love it. I would love it if he did because it would really put a spin on him. because he's such a if he I got think the he'd money, be devastated. Even more money. He would hand all the money out to the others if he won the extra. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this your thing that Liam would hand the money out? No what do you think? Are you a Liam fan? Yes. Do you like, what do you like about Liam? He's he a ladies' in... man. He's so funny and he's witty. He's so but... smooth. Is he smooth? Oh, he's so smooth. But I don't think he's going to win because I think he's already won the money, so I think someone else. You think so? I think everyone else is going to win. He's smooth with the ladies, though. Yeah. He's smooth with the ladies. He's the kind of guy He's the kind of guy who could get away with saying to a lady, I'll just put the tip in. He's one of those kind of guys, and they would actually believe him. And what about you, my friend? Do you like Liam? Yeah, he's all right. He's what do you think? Can he do it? Yeah, he's well, yeah. I'd like to say he think, think he could, but he's staying really down to earth. You respect his movie, The Ladies? The smooth man himself? Yeah, I think he's keeping his options open. People relate, yeah. to him. Wings of yeah. hey. people relate to him. He's just, you know. These what I guys want to be him, and women want to be laid yeah. by him. Yeah. I wanna, is he that kind of. Do you want to be laid by him? I want to be laid by him. Oh my yeah. God, yeah. maybe get away from that man who wants to lay man. What's it called? Guys want to be laid by him as well, and women. I tell, I tell, tell me what you think. I'll tell you what I like about Liam. Tell me what you I, think. I like his sense of humour. For example, when Brian licked his plate bone dry, he says to him, Go and put it back on the shelf. I mean, it's just a wicked sense of humour. Do you like that about him? I think he's funny. Well, you know what? It must, it must have been one of those you have to be there at the time. But let me see. What's it called? Let me come and see my man here because what do you think of Liam, brother? Well, Liam, he's not what he seems at all. Whoa, Liam. controversial. No. I mean, he's got a nasty streak, as that incident he had in the. Uh, what, with the... Brian? Yeah. And, I mean, also, he's a bit too smooth. You know, he wants to bonk all the girls. I, I mean, don't know if he does want to bonk all the girls. I think that... Sure I think that the time he's, he's in there for so he's in there so long he's in there so long I think he's conducted himself very very well I don't think that he's trying to bonk everybody I don't know what's happening with him and Amanda what do you I think say, I think he's a guy he's... sorry babe sorry sweetie. I know it's derogatory to... he's a guy he's being a guy that's why the Amy thing was there some people go oh let's put him down for that I think he's great I think he's lovely he's good looking he's really sweet the guys like him yeah, yeah. well all the guys like him the girls like him, like him. Yeah. The girls like him. Oh, we all love him I think he's and not just because he's good-looking, not just because he's sexy, and but because he's actually a really genuine bloke. He's absolutely genuine. I mean, the 100 grand that he won, I mean, hat off to him. I mean, okay. he's, done, he's done a really well, you know good what? job. You know, we've got, we've got his brother on the phone. Um, so, Dominic, hey, Dominic, can you hear us? Dominic? Hello, hello. Hey! Hey, Dominic! Hey, Dominic, did he learn... Hang on, all my stuff's falling out of me. Give us that, babe. <laughs> My, um, did, did he learn his techniques? Did he learn his seductive techniques off of you? Let me sit oh, between. Yeah. Definitely. I like to regard myself as the, the number one mentor. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. How do you think he's done in the house? How's he holding up with the pressure? He's doing all right. Uh, well, of course you're going to say he's already got 100, 100 grand in his kecks. Hey, he's smashing that. You've got to be happy with that. You bet. You know, you know him very, very well, obviously, with his brother and that, but, like, what's he like now? Because him and Amanda, there's something happening. Is, is, is he fancy Amanda? Can you see any kind of, like, vibe off of him? I can't tell, to be perfectly honest. I can't really tell. You're blinded by the cash! That's what it is, that's what it is. <laughs>
Can he win it? I reckon so. Um, you know, as long as the fans win it, I reckon so. Thank you very much, Dominic. Do you think he can win it? Can he win it? Yeah. I don't know. Vanessa, Vanessa's shaking her head. What do you think, Vanessa? Can he win no, it? Sorry, darling. Can I just stop? Not win it. I think it's got to be split between Brian and Samanda. It, Samanda. Brian Samanda. And Samanda together. Yes. Is yes. That, what are you saying? You're no, saying Brian, 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 Brian. What Brian about Samanda? No. Oh, too much pink, pink and screaming. I don't want to hear it no more. No. What about you, Benny? I'll can he win it? I'll go for the Essex boy, Brian, as well. You're going, for, you're going for Brian. Everybody. You don't think? He's up his own derriere since he won the 100k. He's just gone really relaxed and do anything. He's he doesn't boring. want it, does he? He but doesn't can I just need it say, anymore. Say, sorry, Ben. He doesn't want it. He doesn't need it anymore. Liam's got the money. I think, I think that's, that's one of the, I genuinely think he'll, he'll turn around and he'll feel guilty if he wins He's at the end. He's not going to win. Nobody's going to win. Can, can, can Brian win it? Yeah. Brian! As, as, as Liam being a good ass mate to watch. Yeah. You think he's going to win? What think, are you thinking? I think Liam should cut the money and run. Yeah. That's what Is he that should right? do. Who else yeah. thinks he should cut the money and run? Why should he run? Why have they given him the money in the first place? Why has he got the money? John's Liam's definitely the guy I'd like to go out and have a beer with. it would be a good guy to just take out, have a bit of a beer, yeah. good night out. When you yeah? go out for a beer, can I come? What about you? What would you like to go out for a beer with Liam? <laughs> I'd love to go out for a beer with Liam. And more. A lot Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Can you win it? OK, listen. Where's the cap? Where are we going now? Listen, guys, it's been a great night again, everybody. You've been fantastic again. Thank you very much. Ben, Vanessa, we love you, the audience. I'll see you again tomorrow for more Big Mouth at 10 o'clock. 10 30 on Eastbourne. I should say goodnight. See you later. God bless. Who wins? You decide. Phone 090 11 21 22. For Amanda and Sam to win, at 24. For Brian to win, at 16. For Carol to win, at 02. For Jonty to win, at 21. For Liam to win, at 18. For Ziggy to win, at 12. At least 10 pence from each pool will be donated to charity. Details of which can be found at channel4.com slash